Hey, welcome back, everybody. It's Shino. And we're back in our modded to the max world. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing good. I need a lot of pottery stuff done. So I uh, did a couple of modded to the max uh, uh, mod spotlight videos where I was talking about uh, pit kilns and doing uh, additional pottery. Well, that was, you know, all for a uh, purpose uh, because we need to do a lot of this. So let me gather up this stuff and we'll talk about why. So, we are in a world, and it is uh, August. And if you're in Vintage Story, you understand what August means uh, in your first year. You gotta, gotta get everything ready for winter. Now, I'm not too concerned with this. I think we're gonna be doing good with food. But if we don't get everything put together, um, all the food that we grow just isn't gonna be amount to anything. Uh, we got a couple of big gardens over here that have a lot of food on them um, that we're going to have to get harvested. But if we have no place to store it in uh, food crocs, well, it's not going to do us any good, right? So that's what we're going to be working on this episode. Got a lot of stuff we need to get done. Um, but the other thing I got to get done is... I've got a lot of roofs that are not finished yet. <laughs> For a couple of buildings and I've got plaster walls that aren't done yet and I really don't want to be dealing with these in the winter months so yeah we need to get to moving so a couple of little but item builds that I've done over here let me finish picking up a lot of this stuff here and then we'll go around and take a look at what else I've done all right I'll be right back all right so I did set up this little area here now these are sluice boxes uh, they're available from Jake Cool's uh, useful stuff mod and we're going to look at some other stuff that comes from that mod also, this uh, little contraption here. Uh, but these are cool because you can put um, you can put your gravel, you can put your sand up in these. And it'll work just like if you were using the um, uh, pan for panning. Except these only give you, so like if you take and put, if you were to put gravel down and you'd use the pan, you know, you could get like eight. Uh, layers per uh, block of gravel um, to pan out of, right? Uh, this doesn't. This will just do a one for one. So whenever you put the items up in here, uh, they'll do a one for one. Um, so it'll come through. It'll go. Th it'll go through the sluice box, and anything that is uh, found in the gravel will then drop into. Uh, I've got it going into this hopper, and then that hopper feeds down into chest. So I've been kind of feeding stuff out of here. Um, as I've, you know, I've been kind of doing this and so, but you get, you know, you'll get copper and I'll take that blue clay too. Uh, you'll get copper. Uh, you'll get some of the, uh, usable items like that. I think over here I've got, the, um, oh, where'd I see it at? I think it was over here maybe. Yeah. So here I've got some lure books and, uh, uh, culture tavern. Um, what, oh, there's some fox fiber. I need that. I'll take that while I've got it here. Was there any more? Not there. Uh, not there. So I've been putting like the uh, bony soil into this one. And I've been throwing uh, sand and gravel, I think is how I've had it going. Uh, going through there. But I need to do that. I mean, uh, you know, I, I can go out and I can collect resources and get everything kind of done that way. But still needing a lot of stuff. Um, so let's go up here. And let's look at the pottery area. So I've got to get this roof done. Um, so I've been wanting to get a lot of clay gathered up. That did not work. Not the way I wanted it. There we go. Uh, so we're getting the clay gathered up. And um, I've got this area set up. Let's go back downstairs. Here. So I've got my uh, mechanism stuff set up in here. I've got a couple of large wheels going. Um, these are feeding, uh, of course, a quern here. So if I want to run the quern, I can kick that on. And I can run the quern there. Um, this thing's kind of going all the time, uh, which probably I need to fix that, but that's okay. Um, then I've got this one over here that goes to simple pottery wheel. So I can kick that thing on and now the simple pottery wheels is turning up there. 
And if I don't want that going, I want to use the health hammer. There you go. I just kick it on there. So if I want to have multiple things going. I can do that. Don't really see any issues there. Uh, I am going to uh, be using a couple of different mods um, to kind of simplify things a little bit. Uh, the mill, the millwright mod, get up here, um, will create additional uh, sales. So if we go to, uh, let's see, is it under guide? No. Nope. So if we go to everything, there we go. So we've got the four sail windmill rotor. This is from the millwright mod. Um, we've got the four sail there. We've got up to a six sail anvil or uh, rotor, which this is one that we're going to be creating once we we'll get our iron plates here in a little bit. But we're going to definitely create one of these, and then the sails. Um, you can also go with different size sails. So. Um, they've got what are called uh, the angled ones and they've got the wide ones and then they've got these crazy ones that are centered uh, these things go super crazy fast so uh, we do have to have the reinforced windmill rotor for it um, if we go with I think it's not that one angled no that requires a reinforcement also I was thinking there was one of them that didn't um, I think that's just a standard vanilla one Double check it. Yeah, that's just standard vanilla one there. Uh, but anyways, we can use these also. So yeah, we're going to be doing that. Um, right now, we've just got two set up. And of course, you can see, you know, we're not in hurricane weather right now. So we're not getting a good, a good amount of windmill off of that. Uh, that's going to stink. So let's get some stuff done here. I am going to... Uh, oh, actually, I need to start off. I'm going to take a bunch of this clay here. Actually, let's just go grab some more clay. Yeah, we're going to use that clay for something else. But we need to get some more of the um, slant, uh, slanted brown clay roof done. So let's go gather up some more clay. All right, I'm back. Um, So there's been a couple of things. One, I have upgraded to version 118.5, uh, 118.15, sorry. Um, and doing that upgrade, uh, of course, a lot of issues with mods, um, getting updated and working. Um, and it's partly because 119.1 came out or 119 pre-releases came out. And a lot of mod developers have been updating mods to the new pre-release. And I have a, I have a tool on my computer that will check um, the previous versions of mods and compare it to the most recent uh, file. And of course, so some of these mods that I have been getting uh, updated on have been uh, for 119 and I'm not planning on updating to 119 uh, I'm gonna keep it at 118.5 for the rest of the series but anyways that's caused a few problems for me uh, getting things updated so for example uh, I went to go try to update or, or try to make the brown clay and it wouldn't let me because um, here we go uh, it wouldn't let me because there was no, uh, or the, the newest version was 119. There was a pre-release. Uh, and same thing for uh, Expanded Matter. Uh, but I'm on 118.5, so it was causing some problems there. Um, so just something to watch out for. Um, that's one of the risks that we play, uh, we run whenever we play with a lot of mods. Um, trying to get everything uh, updated um, the best we can. But how cool is this, right? Am I right? Look at this. Now, of course, this would, if I had better wind going on right now, this would really be smoking. Um, but still, this is not bad at all. <laughs> Getting the shingles made. Not at all. Uh, so lots of stuff I still got to get done. Uh, this is the primary focus, is I need to get some of these roofs completed. 
Um, and I need to get some stuff fired here. So that's what we're working on. Um, and this little pottery area, I'm going to call this the pottery barn. Um, this upstairs area. Uh, I'll go out. You've been seeing me kind of fly into here. Uh, I'll take you out the actual door. Uh, so you can kind of see the staircase too. A couple more of these done. So yeah, I definitely need to get this thing uh, faster. So we're going to do that with the millwright stuff. All right, that means that. That's uh, 72. Okay, we're going to start with that. Let's go out this way. We'll show you the normal door um, that comes out this way and a little staircase coming down. So that's going to be the pottery barn up there. Of course, I got uh, processing everything down in here uh, for the metals. Uh, I've got to get rid of this. This is going to be the warehouse here coming all the way through to back here. And then uh, this is going to be the kitchen area. So we're going to do like all our food prep and everything here. Uh, you'll realize I've got a little kitchen over here that's going to be kind of for just, you know, whenever I need to fix uh, just a few items, you know, a meal or whatever. This will be the kitchen here because I'm going to be moving into this area uh, with our regular house. But for the mass production of food, that's going to be taking place over here. All right, so let's go over here. So we talked a little bit about the useful stuff from Jake Cool Mods. Um, this is what we've been using this for. We have this. This is his kiln um, that we use. And so we're going to fly down this chimney here. And uh, it's been a while since I've used this. And I'm trying to remember if I can... I think I can only do one, like... I think I can only do like that. If I recall, I'll try it. And I'll do just a set like that too. There's that. I got how many more spots? I'm gonna go ahead and do. I don't. I don't think I can do. I think I can only do it by layer or one layer. Like that. So I got two more spots there. Okay. Let's pop up here and let's make a few more items if we can. Let's make um. Let's make the Crocs. So, um, the extra clay forming mod, um, allows you to, you know, normally you can only do four Crocs at a time, um, in, in a block display, but with the, ex with that, uh, extra clay forming mods, they've got one for five, which is kind of good. Yeah, I like the simple pottery wheel. I've uh, been talking, uh, somebody commented on the video that I did for it and said, yeah, but you don't get X, uh, X skills for it. And I think that's true. So if I go to O and we're doing processing and we'd look at pottery, you'll see I'm at 12.3 on that. So I'm going to set and hold this down. Just for a little bit, we'll go back into it and you see it. I'm still at 12.3. Uh, we'll go ahead and finish this all the way off. There you go. Go to O. See 12.3. So you don't get any of the points um, for. Um, do four. You don't get any points uh, for X skills doing it this way. So that's kind of a bad thing. Um, we'll get into. We'll be getting into some more clay forming. Um, where we'll get a chance to do it without using the pottery wheel. And uh, we'll see if we can get some points built up in that area. Right now, about the only thing I'm really getting a lot of points built up in is digging and uh, lumberjack. That's about the only two that I'm getting a ton of. Um, because I've been doing a lot of collecting and resource gathering.
And we need to get some firewood. Let that go for a little bit. See what happens. All right. While that's going, we need to start harvesting. And I think this is already in here to go. Seven, nine. Not all of it is. Majority. It looks like this one spot here didn't do very good. And back there in the back. Everything else looks like it's harvested, so we're going to go ahead and harvest it. And I'm going to use my axe. We're going to need a lot of this flax fiber. And we're going to go ahead and replant in one of the other greenhouses and we're going to start moving some of the other crops into here a little rotation going on going to this one i'm going to go ahead and gather up as much of this as i can because i'm going to need some more grass Nice. And let's see, what do we have? Still not there. Got a little bit of flax here that's not ready yet. Let's check this one down here. Looks like not all of it's ready. Yep, still got a little bit of time over here on this one. No worries. This, I've got the, um, oh, what do you call it? The jute is growing over here, and it grows really good. Uh, I really like the jute. Uh, I don't think, I'll have to go back and double check, but I don't think I found any of the cotton yet. run and plant these over on this far side over here. All right, we should have this done. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to break this. And it's going to put spill everything down there. There you go. So we got all our pottery. So there is our 72 fired brown clay shingles. And there is our eight of our fired crocs. Pretty cool, huh? What's nice about this is if you think about the pit kilns that you have to make. Now, granted, we could do a huge amount of pit kilns. We just have to, you know, protect it from the rain. Uh, like what I've gotten here. Um, you know, we could do we could do these in here, but that's going to require grass. It's going to require sticks. It's going to require some kind of fuel. This just requires firewood. Um, and these are just made out of light mud bricks. Um, and I think you do the dark mud bricks too, but these aren't that expensive to make. So like if we do shift H, uh, there's your grass, there's your sand, uh, there's your dirt uh, to make the light ones. Really, it's not that hard um, to make. And then um, the... Uh, this thing here, shift H. Uh, you just take the light mud bricks, put them around like that to get the centerpiece, the firebox. Really not that hard. So 
you know, making four or five of these together. And I think I'll test it on this next one. I'm gonna I'm gonna see. I can't I was thinking about it after I did. I was like, yeah, I think I could go an entire stack inside here of the um, shingles. So we're gonna try that uh, when we come back in. So we don't have any wind moving, do we? Wow. I need some wind right now. Uh, so I need to make a bunch of those. Let me see how much of this I can get done. All right, we still don't have any wind. So, but let's see if we can go ahead and get, um, maybe get that reinforced one done. So I've got, you know, I've got tools. I could do it. it should be fine. So let's do it the old fashioned way, huh? Uh, I'll need the tongs. I don't think I've got them over here. We need two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I don't think. I think we're just going to do just the standard ones for now. Just the standard ones, what we're going to do for now. So let's do the four sail rotor. So we're going to need just a standard rotor. We're going to go take those from up top. That's what we're going to do. Do I have my... I do. I'm going to take this thing down here. Open this up. Go to here. Go to rotor. And we're going to go to the reinforced four. All right, so we'll need that there. We'll need the metal plate. Need the chisel and our hammer. Boom. Okay. So that's going to give us the reinforced one. And as far as sales go, and I do the angled one. I want to put it up there with just this for now. We're going to see what that does. I don't think I'm going to see much of an increase on it. Oh, I can't use the standard ones on it. Okay, so we're going to have to go with the next size up. All right. that I'm going to recover the uh, cloth out of these that I've got just need a knife for it so Napster Napster mod is supposed to be updated and usable with 118 uh, 15 I am having a little bit of problems with it I uh, meant to talk to Apache about it, just to kind of see 
uh, if uh, maybe there's something I'm doing wrong. So I'll definitely double check with him on that. All right, so that's going to give us 43. So we want to do... Wide, maybe? Would rather do the centered ones. Let's try this one. Go with that for now. Let's see what we get. We're starting to get some movement out of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what do we get? 146 wind speed, 106. So we're getting sail power output, 160 knots. <laughs> That'll work. Um, I think I could actually... I wonder if I can get another set on there. Um, so if we do... See if we can get another set on there. If not, we'll have these for the next side. Oh yeah. And now we're at 200 knots. Or KN. As far as output goes. And that gives us... Very nice. Very nice. Now, I do want to show one thing here, and I want to grab these. I want to show something here. This is uh, another mod that I've got installed called the Health Hammer Extension. And basically, it's going to make every recipe um, that you can get on the Health Hammer, it's going to make it... Uh, craftable using the health hammer. So instead of just using, you know, if, if I wanted to make nails and strips, this is where it comes in really handy. If you want to make nails and strips, you would normally have to hammer that out, right? Uh, but with this health hammer extension mod, I can throw it on there and that will kick out the, uh, the strips for me. All right, ready? So we'll pick this. Uh, let's engage that, put it down, and we'll select the nails and strips. And there you go. Same thing. Perfect. That comes in really handy. Uh, when you ever you need to, to kick out a lot of... Uh, We'll put this in here. Go. Yeah, it comes in very handy. Now let's get let's kick this on. Now we should be able to...
Kick these out a lot faster now. Now, again, while you're using this mod, you're still you're still going to be holding on the right mouse button, and you still have to shift right mouse click um, to put the to get the clay uh, recipe up there, and you got to hold the right mouse button to to get it to go ahead and add the voxels. Uh, so it's not a completely automatic one. It's not one that you can just kind of drop it on there and walk away from it. You're still going to have to spend some time here with it. Okay, I have gone in and put in a couple stacks uh, per per spot in there. So not completely full to the full, you know, what would be a full size uh, pit kiln, uh, but quite a bit more. I think there's 180 uh, shingles in there this time. So we'll see how that does. Get this put away. And I think I left my lantern over here, didn't I? I did. Put you up. And one thing I've done is poured up a whole bunch of silver plates. So I wanted to put, there we go, a little lining inside that. Give us a little brighter light to deal with. And then I would like to take a look at doing an iron reinforced backpack. So this is from the, what is it, better backpack plus mod? Backpack pack plus mod um and so we have just a standard backpack and then we're going to need a couple of tin bronze plates for the bronze reinforced one and if we want to go with the iron it would require the bronze one um and then plus uh adding in the iron plates so let's start off with making the bronze ones first so two bronze plates per and the leather. So let's go over here first and gather the bronze plates. Five, six, seven, eight. Just realizing we don't have four backpacks. Might as well get another backpack made too. Should not be a problem. And I've got a common knife. That'll work. All right, let's bring up the backpack here. Uh, let's open that. Open that. Open that. Go to the bronze backpack. And we're going to need to do a little bit of adjusting here. Let's make that movable. Put you up there. This is already movable. We're going to put you up there. Keep you right here so we can see the recipe. Uh, hammer. I didn't bring my hammer. I think I've got one in here. Yes. Bring this back up. All right, so first thing, don't need that. I'm going to move you over here. So we're going to have to empty out. So that has black bronze arrows, black bronze phallics, and the dry grass. So we'll just throw that stuff up here first. Free that one up. 
So we can put it there to the middle. And we're put that on the other side. And some leather in the middle. And then that and our knife. There we go, a 14 slot. So what we've got right now is a 12 slot. It's gonna be a 14. Very nice. And then let's see, this one has 10 bronze shears and the flint, flint sphere. Bring you down to here. And now we can pull that one off. Same, same. Oh, I like it. Everything to the black bronze zero. So let's pull all of this down. Nice. Okay. Now we're going to need to make just a regular backpack. And that is... Oops. Ten copper bits. It's either bits or nuggets. I don't think you have to have just bits It's not looking like it's cycling through. We're going to find out. Yeah, it's looking like I may have to have the copper bits. We'll come back to that one, but for now, that's going to be very nice. That's a lot of space. That's what I was hoping for. Because I'm going to have to go do a lot of mining. So between episodes, I'm going to have to go do a lot of mining. Uh, I need to get the rest of this area. Hopefully this will finish growing here pretty quick. I'm going to need a lot of flax for, um, for the rest of the sails. So hopefully here soon we'll have, there's a little bit. So yeah, it's starting to turn now. Okay. Hopefully here shortly I'll have a bunch. So that's what I'm going to do between episodes. I'm going to make sure that I go mining, uh, get lots of additional clay and stone and uh, definitely got to get a lot more limestone too because I need to make a lot more plaster um, to finish this room off up here and then plus we're going to have two additional buildings going in that I'm going to need a lot of plaster for okay well, that's what I'm going to do between episodes. Uh, thanks for spending time with me. This is Shino. Uh, really enjoying the mod selection. Uh, again, 118, 15 was a little bit of a hard upgrade to do. Uh, I'm still going through and finding some mods uh, that aren't working uh, quite right. Uh, I'm not getting notices that there's a problem until there is a problem. <laughs> uh, and then uh, having to go through and try to figure out what the, what the fix is. So... 
not exactly something that's been uh, very uh, uh, been something that's been uh, a pleasant experience to say the least so but that's okay we'll get it all solved and taken care of all right folks hey thanks for spending time with me this is Shino and we'll see you in the next episode take care